The Battery is a real low budget horror movie and I mean micro budget, it literally has two characters, there may be another actor or actress that appears for a brief minute later on but it's pretty much these two guys, it is written directed by the same person and he is one of the starring roles. The movie is about two characters, Ben and Mikey and this has after an apocalypse has happened, a zombie apocalypse and these two guys are just traversing the land. They're just wandering along, just trying to survive day to day. It's obvious that they've had some experiences and that they've been together for a long period of time as well. We have Ben who has sort of adapted to this zombie world a little bit better and is quite happy to dispatch the undead from this mortal coil, whereas Mikey isn't so sure about taking these things out. In fact, he's terrified of them, he doesn't want to deal with them, and they kind of have a, a companionship that way where Ben is kind of looking after Mikey. And together, they just try to coexist. They don't particularly like each other, but that is all they have is each other. There's not so much a story in this as more of a mood and atmospheric piece. If you don't like slow burn movies, if you don't want character studies, if you want lots of action, lots of zombies, lots of horror and gore, this is not for you. It is not going to work at all. Like I said, it is micro budget and it is more about the characters, their interactions, how they're surviving, how they're making it through each and every day. And that is pretty much the movie encompassed. It, it, these guys kind of move about, they find a car, they drive from place to place. They end up at a point trapped within the car, surrounded by zombies and literally no hope. And that's a long period of the movie. So you've got the opening, but it's full of these really nice shots. It's wide open spaces, almost deserted kind of places. They try to go through the woods because they suspect that there'll be less zombies there. They stumble across buildings, they search them, they may rest for a day and then they're on their travels yet again. They've got no place to go, they're just keeping moving, trying to live their lives. And midway through the movie that something happens and they end up trapped within their car, their keys are lost and they have all these zombies round about them. There is literally no escape and for a long chunk of the movie it's just these two guys trapped in this confined space as the zombies are outside shaking the car and just making their noises and it's just, it's an interesting piece watching the two of them just kind of bond and kind of put aside their differences and almost almost just come to terms with the fact that they're most likely going to die in this situation. I quite like The Battery. It's very different of an over-familiar genre. Zombie movies, there are lots of them and most of them tread the same Night of the Living Dead ground that we've seen lots of times when something can come across with a little bit of a fresh approach is welcoming. And the fact that I liked both these characters was enjoyable and they're both likeable for various reasons. And I really was invested in them, which is great because that's what the movie is relying on. You don't get lots of zombie action at all. But what zombie action you do get is kind of funny because it's very much slow zombies here. So much to the stage that the two guys will be having an argument as a zombie creeps up and one will just turn around and just push it away and continue his argument. And you have this kind of fear that the zombies are going to jump or a tag, but they just kind of wander up and get pushed away again and it's, it's that kind of really bleak black humour that's in the movie as well. There is a couple of nice shots, uh, especially when they're trapped in the car, they have to keep things fresh and the camera moves about, kind of like an ethereal presence and kind of just gets in the faces of the guys as they feel the claustrophobic area of the car just getting smaller and smaller and smaller as they're psyches start to crack and crumble. I think The Battery is an enjoyable movie. If you're willing to invest in it, take your time and let the movie kind of wash over you, I think you'll find something that's pretty good. It is a micro budget movie. It does have long periods of times of guys doing nothing like brushing their teeth, which goes on for about two, three minutes and you feel, is it necessary? Probably not, but I don't really mind it being there. I gave The Battery three and a half out of five. I quite liked it. Have you seen it? Did you like the battery? Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.